I for today's are done. This can you guess what it is? Yes, one more airliner instrument. But this one actually is very deep compared to the diameter. It is uh, 20 centimeters deep. So it is a fuel used quantity indicator in kilograms, which is uh, quite unusual. It is uh, made by the Eldec Corp in uh, Linwood, Washington. Uh, actually, the company is still existing and they still make aircraft parts. And uh, we have uh, serial number is uh, 1062 on this. We have a Boeing part number, of course. So, uh, only enough on this one, in fact, the manufacturer plate was uh, very lightly glued at the back and it did uh, come loose. So, I will uh, probably reattach it with uh, double sided tape or something like this. So, to open it, we have uh, a seal from the LD Corporation here. We have a seal here, maybe from a France company, here also. And we have just four little Phillips screws. So, considering how deep it is, we can expect to have both electronics and mechanics inside. So there is actually this back piece which is pressing uh, against this extremely oversized o-ring which will come off like so. It is a nitride, I believe, material. Orange o-ring, very nice quality but completely oversized. And here is what we have inside. So as expected, both electronics and mechanics. So I will zoom. At the back here, just a metal piece holding the connector. First circuit board here with a transformer, uh, two power resistors with seem pretty toasty in fact. The circuit board is burned under it. Uh, more resistors, capacitors, transistors, nothing special. Four diodes here which may be a bridge certifier. Uh, yes, they are connected uh, two by two, so yes, it is a bridge certifier. And probably my smoothing capacitor here. So we have a local power supply with this thing. We have here a big standoff for the disc here. And on the other side, oddly enough, they did cover the PCB with this kind of uh, maybe fiber glass material. And in fact, it is a wall piece. Like so, covering this PCB. So, this one must be the driver to the motor here. We have a spring here for making contact with the case, probably. The circuits are DM4574, DM4500, and 4500. A bunch of extra transistors here, bunch of uh, diodes here. All of this to drive. Let me put this back in place. Try to at least. Not really easy because in fact it is uh, getting stuck against the solders. All of this to drive this little uh, motor or uh, something. I cannot read what it is written because actually it is uh, on the side here. 
uh, transformer something so it must be some kind of uh, synchro res uh, resolver we have uh, six wires to it or maybe it is uh, rather some uh, stepper motor but I am clicking if I can do it I could undo the screws but the wires are totally in the way here I am not sure if I can or not undo it is extremely hard so it is some kind of motor by the way which is driving uh, this gears which will of course move the uh, counter here we have uh, some kind of uh, feedback provided uh, here by uh, one micro switch at least yes it is uh, uh, making contact at the zero position in fact if it tries to go uh, under zero then it will make contact and it will stop and in the other direction of course you can go pretty high so there must be an initialization sequence when you power this thing maybe or something like this and we have here all around a little circuit board for the uh, backlight which may or may not be blown in fact I have a two terminals to the backlight just here so I may try to power it let me check if I can grab yes should work so let's try this or maybe with a crocodile clips I will connect one here on the track is actually all the way here so I can grab this and this um, try not to make a short circuit and try to power it um, and it is actually making a short circuit ah no it is working so why ah I was contacting another track at the other side not really zero but here we are Maybe it is even overpowered, so you can see the fuel use indication will light up and the digits will light up quite uh, nicely. So on this one at least the bulbs are not blown, there are uh, four of them it seems. Yes. So the light is working, but to control the to retro engineer the electronics it would be something else and I have a feeling uh, some uh, parts may be actually blown in this it looks like this diode uh, also here went very uh, hot maybe it is a zener diode or something to regulate the voltage so I am not sure in which condition it is of course I haven't got the machine connector and there is not any information available at all and here we have something weird going on with this kind of it shrink over these wires in a weird condition actually okay and uh, what else to see a uh, very nice uh, die cast aluminium piece here for the mechanical part of it uh, some information written here around and written by the way and it is also it is the kind of instrument that may be possible to drive but as always you, you lack uh, complete uh, information and uh, it requires uh, total retro engineering and total retro engineering requires a lot of time which I do not have 
Okay, just did just see here they did uh, stuck a little piece of uh, some kind of uh, rubber or uh, foam to uh, prevent the circuit board from uh, moving maybe quite weird this thing very nice uh, set of gears at least and good to know the lights are working uh, it looks like yes they are wired directly to the connector so the backlight is uh, powered uh, directly because the tracks are going uh, directly to the back yes interesting okay so thanks for watching bye bye